Hi guys, I'm Genesis Moss, and this is my review of Transformers Fall of Cybertron Grimlock action figure from the Transformers Generation line. Grimlock comes packaged in a Transformers Generations window box with him in robot mode and some artwork of him in dinosaur mode to the left of his window. The back of the package features some stats and a bio for Grimlock as well as a couple of pictures of the figure himself. And here he is, the massive munching dinosaur robo himself, Grimlock. So out of the package, Grimlock here looks very fantastic. He is almost a perfect representation of how he looked in the Transformers Fall of Cybertron video game. He has a silverish gray color scheme with some golds, blacks, and reds mixed in. He has a very nice face sculpt and his head has the light piping technology so if you want to take a light bulb or a flashlight and shine it through the top of his head, his eyes light up. Now as far as the detailing on this figure, it is fantastic from his chest sculpt, his arm sculpt, his legs, his back, everything just has an awesome robotic feel to it and he just really just seems to pop right off the toy shelf. Now Grimlock comes with two accessories. First off is his Energon sword. Now with Grimlock's great articulation in robot mode, you can get some really great poses out of the sword, and you can really just make him stand out. His other accessory is an Energon shield. Now the great thing about this shield is it has a peg on it which fits into one or the other hole on either of Grimlock's arms. So you can have it as a shoulder shield or a wrist shield, and it looks really nice. Now as far as transforming this guy, it was pretty easy. He's a level 2 transformer and I didn't have any problems with it. I didn't even have to look at the instructions. Before we go into his dinosaur mode, let's go ahead and talk about Grimlock's articulation. His head moves at a full 360 degrees. Arms move up, down, and all the way around. He's got this kind of odd shoulder cut there. I guess that's part of his transforming mode though. Elbow cut, wrist cut, He has no waist or ab crunch, but that's because of his transforming again. His legs move out, up, down, all the way around. Double jointed knees. And a thigh cut articulation. And if you go to the back of the figure here, see this little switch? Click it, and his chest lights up. very nice addition to the figure. So let's take a look at Grimlock in dinosaur mode. I have to say as much as I like this guy in robot mode, in dinosaur mode, he's kinda useless. He has very limited articulation, his sculpt still looks great, and I like the design of the figure, but overall there's not much you can do with him other than just pose him on your shelf in one static pose for the most part. What is very nice though is those same weapons that you saw earlier can attach to his legs the same way they attach to his arms when he was in robo mode. Let's go ahead and take a look at Dinosaur Grimlock's articulation. There's not much going on here. Arms move up, down, and all the way around. You're on a little ball joint there. Got knee cut, toe cut articulation. head really doesn't move, but he has that same light feature as Grimlock's chest did. As you can see, his little Autobot symbol lights up there. Very nice addition. And that was it for Dinosaur Mode Grimlock's articulation. Overall, how do I feel about this figure? I think in robot mode, he is fantastic. He's got great articulation, great detailing. In Dinosaur Mode, he's kind of just a hunk of plastic that sits on your shelf. So if you're a kid and you're looking for play value, robot mode is where it's at. If you're a collector and you just like him in dinosaur mode, pop him on the shelf. But I would recommend this figure to kids and adults alike. And that was it for my review of this Grimlock action figure. Now, just a quick note is this figure is on loan from the collection of one of my good friends, Clement Newman. So thank you Clement for letting me borrow this guy for review. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at IHaveThePower82, like our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash Mossman82, and please don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time.